My name's Eve Shillow. I'm an assistant curator in the Wallace Annenberg Photography Department at LACMA. We are in the Resnick Pavilion in the exhibition In the Now, Gender and Nation in Europe, selections from the Sir Mark Haukel collection. This exhibit is basically a celebration of a wonderful donation by Sir Mark Fairs Haukel. We were gifted, along with the Brooklyn Museum, 200 photographs that he's amassed since about the year 2000. So we're in 2021, so we've got a really nice capsule of work that was made by women who are born in or based in Europe. What you see are curated selection of just 49 works. So very much pared down, very much focusing on the three themes that we pulled out of his collecting rubric, which is gender, photography, and nation nation implying Europe. What do we mean by Europe? What do we mean by photography nowadays? And where does gender come into play even for practicing artists in the 2000s? My name is Britt Salveson. I'm the curator and department head of the Wallace Annenberg Photography Department at LACMA. People and artists are questioning, what does gender mean? People are questioning, what is the photographic medium in a digital age? And finally, the idea of what is Europe as a geographic and political and social entity in the 21st century. It's a lot of moving targets and it's a really exciting time for artists to comment on those questions. Many of these pictures are not literal, if you will, depictions of women or of kind of documents in the photographic sense, but they push all the boundaries. While there are figurative photographs, there are also abstract ones, and even the landscapes which may depict certain places might also be very expressive and subjective. I think there are things that don't easily fit into categories. We have in this exhibition photographs that have stitching and thread in them. We have photographs that have varnish and paint on them. One photograph that's been converted into a weaving. The photographic medium actually has come to embrace all other traditional mediums. When you first enter the gallery and turn right, you'll pass a quite striking mural of a woman covered with fur, seated in a chair. But what I wanted to bring to your attention was this pair of works by Alexandra Krotoru, who's an artist um, living and working in Romania. These are self-portraits and part of a series where she depicted herself with, in each case, a different man who was in some way a kind of icon of masculinity, so there would be a contrast between herself and her accompanying man. In the lower work, we see her with a bodybuilder, a man that she met at the gym she worked out with. And in the top portrait, the man who's with her is actually, was at the time, the Prime Minister of Romania, who later was tried and indicted for corruption. Kind of a physical and a political ideal of masculinity and power, her suggesting through this very traditional portrait format, usually the man is standing and the woman is seated, she's flipped that around, and also is suggesting that maybe an artist can have some power of her own as much as these men do because they end up looking a little bit silly while she's very much in control. I wanted to also point out one of the, I guess we would call it a landscape in the exhibition, but one that also has a kind of a really special combination of materials and media. You can look at it and ask, what is it? Is it a photograph, a painting, a video almost? There's an, it's illuminated from within, so that's the first thing to know about it. It's a light box and it's made by an Italian artist, Elisa Sigicelli. She noticed that the thing she was most interested in was the background landscape but no one ever pays attention to it. So as an artist working with photography, she extracted details from those paintings, from the background, cropped them out, made a transparency out of it. And then she put them on these very, very horizontal format light boxes. 
and did some painting of her own on the reverse side. So where the landscape remains fairly dark, but the light is coming through in the sky. In addition to this wonderful collection, we are adding to it and we'll do so annually. We've got two wonderful new images in this exhibition, newly added to the Haukul collection. These two works were added to the collection, really in the spirit of diversity and representing Europe as it is today in 2021, a region that has had several waves of migration. So the idea of nationhood keeps changing with each wave of migration. Our recent additions reference that. Museums often are in the business of kind of creating descriptive boxes for artists to fit into, whether it's a woman artist or a photographer or a German artist. But this exhibition forces us to think beyond those categories. It's our hope to be able to identify new artists, maybe artists who immigrated to Europe from other places and have that perspective. For us, it's a starting point for many new directions. <laughs>